Morning. What a glorious morning it is today. So today I'm in Crowden. You might be able to see in the background Torside Clough, which leads over to Bleaklow, where I was uh, last week. But today I'm uh, heading up towards Lado Rocks. From there on, it's a decision to be made, not decided exactly where I'm going. I know I'm not going to go all the way up to Black Hill today, I've been there before. Probably going to make my way over to, uh, I think it's called Chew Reservoir, and uh, you know, we'll see, uh, see where I want to go from there. But I've uh, planned a rough uh, a 13 to 15 mile route. Um, can't remember all the places I'm stopping at because I've not, uh, not been to them. Uh, previously so, uh, so I'll keep you updated as I, as I get to places but once again what a magnificent place and we're on the Pennine Way as well which is fab part of my route next year okay on we go speak to you soon the purple heather is looking uh, resplendent today made it onto Lado Rocks. Looking down there is Crowden Brook. And if we look way over into the distance, anyone who watched my Bleaklow video last week, um, that's exactly, well, in that vicinity is where I was. I think I actually pointed out from there um, the kind of route where I am today. back in the trail shoe today so we're looking for the path of least bog I think they found it right so I think it's fair to say that sometimes on a walk things don't always go to plan and that's definitely what's happened today so it's probably about an hour or so since I told you that I'd uh, reached Lado Rocks overlooking uh, Crowden Brook there. And the path I'd taken to uh, Chew Reservoir, I think it's fair to say it was extremely boggy, very uninspiring too. I think the only thing worth filming and showing you down there would be me waist deep in bog, which would be good for you but crap for me. So change of plan. I'm going to make my way over to Black Hill and then probably, if it's not too boggy, come back down the other side into Crowden. If it is too boggy, I'll just come back down this path. Okay, so the views are still fab, the weather's beautiful, the day's still great, so nothing to complain about. Let's just crack on with it. So we've re reached Castles. I've seen a few uh, YouTube videos of uh, people wild camping on there. It's a bit tricky to get across to though, so I won't be checking it out today. Just film it from here.
Okay, so I've left the summit of Black Hill and the Pennine Way behind. And now I'm making my way through the moors, or should I say, the bogs. I've done this route once before with uh, my friend Simon and it wasn't the most pleasant of experiences. In fact, I seem to recall that uh, I, I lost a boot and almost a leg in one of the bogs. Luckily, I did manage to retrieve the boot before I had to uh, walk about three miles uh, with one shoe on. So, it's probably about three, four miles back to the car, that's all. But, uh, we take a little bit of time, given uh, to keep kind of weaving in and out of uh, the boggy moorland. We'll see how we go. Okay, so I need to plot a safe path through here. Let's have a go. Don't laugh if I lose a, a leg in the bog. Made it. Right, so we're almost back at the car. If you can hear in the background, there's a, uh, either a very angry sheep or a concerned sheep. Oh, shut up. So it's definitely been one of the uh, more interesting walks today. Really glad I, uh, I decided to go plan B up to Black Hill. It wasn't too boggy as I thought it might be uh, coming back down through the moors. Uh, back into Crowdham. But as always, hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Um, hoping to have some uh, some news in the next uh, few days regarding a uh, multi-day hike I'm planning. Um, I'll tell you more about that uh, probably on the next walk once it's uh, all firmed up if it, uh, if it is to go ahead. Right, so I'm going to sign off here, give you one last look around at some of the, uh, the views that we've got. Yep, so signing off here and uh, we'll catch up again on the, uh, on the next walk. Take care, see you soon.